Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a stack of boxes, beautiful boxes from one by one inch uh, down to three by three by one inch. Five of them, and you can make all five boxes from one sheet of paper. Now, I've done the five boxes from one sheet of paper before, um, back in 2013. So yeah, when I was a brand new demonstrator, I've also done five bags from a sheet of paper. And this time I've done the five boxes and stacked them because I think they're gorgeous, but yeah, one sheet of paper. Okay, so I will read out the measurements, but don't worry about writing them all down. Click open the description bar below. In there, you'll see a hyperlink that will take you directly to this project where all of the measurements in metric and imperial will be. But actually what I want to do is show you the cutting of it. So I've got my paper trimmer. The first thing you want to do is cut off a piece that's three inches seven centimeters actually if you're working in metric take yours down to 30 by 30 but cut off a piece that is three inches okay so that's three by 12. that's your first bit turn it around and cut off seven inches so you've got a three by five and you've got a three by seven those are two boxes this panel here is 12 by nine and on this nine inch side, you're gonna cut off a piece that's three inches and a piece that's four inches that leaves you a piece that's five inches. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up onto my scoring plate just so that I can do the metric for you. And I might have to zoom out very slightly nope we should all be good so the first thing you do is you cut off this panel here at the bottom that's seven and a half centimeters cut that off cut this one to 17 and a half centimeters which leaves you one that's 12 and a half centimeters those two this one measures 22 and a half centimeters down and the 30 across the first one that you cut off seven and a half then 10 leaving you a piece that's 12 and a half so that's how you get all five pieces. And I still need that. Let's not put that away. <laughs> okay. So on the first one, it doesn't matter which one you take. One inch in from either side. Okay. Look for your center point. So this is nine inches in length. So look my four and a half and go half a centimeter either side. Now I will write them all down. I'm not gonna talk them through as I'm doing this because you know, that's just me speaking measurements, you know, and we don't need to do that. But I'm gonna chatter away about the paper, which is gorgeous. Love it. So this is the bird ballad paper. Really very lovely. Um, whoopsie. And bring in this one so I've got a cat who's going to appear on the desk this is Sorrel hello oh she's just do you think I needed help do I hello that's a paw there oh she does not care she's no, doesn't care she's just literally really need to help him oh, she's got a tail up in my nose i have a much bigger desk now than i had before yes you're very lovely and so they've got all this space to get involved right so let's burnish all of these she, she, she has no <laughs> concept of personal space does this cat okay Oh, she's a savannah. She's got very beautiful markings. She's very, yes, you're very pretty, aren't you? Um, she's a savannah F7. So if you know your cat, savannahs, savannahs, serval savannah and savannah F1s and savannah F2s are classed as wild cats and you need a license for them. She's an F7, so she's basically a domestic cat. Yes, you are. 
she's a domestic cat basically right all I'm doing is I'm burnishing all of my score lines as I go I did consider <laughs> she's butting me I did consider doing half of these first and then I th you're going to lick me and then I thought no I want to show you the entire build process from start to finish I've done lots of stacks of boxes. I don't even know. I must be into double figures by now. Um, and I usually have made most of them in advance. I didn't want to on this one. She's actually getting her head under my arm now. Does anybody else have animals that assist in their crafting? Okay, so we're almost there. I did think about speeding it up as well, but I actually don't know how to. Um, and I like real time. Real time is good. Okay, so let me know in the comments which is your favourite paper from the mini catalogue. So that's the January to June mini catalogue, formerly known as the Spring Summer catalogue. Formerly known, I believe, in America as the Occasions catalogue. But yeah, let me know. Okay, I'm going to cut one and show you how to do it. So, um, let me find a pen. On each of these, there is a square in six corners. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop into the squares and leave the rectangle straight. Now I'm going to go reasonably quickly, just for video purposes and because there's a lot to do. But it's all good. So yeah, let me know which is your favourite paper pack. I have to say, I haven't yet got a favourite. I like the Parisian Blossoms because it's very elegant. I like the Dressed um, to Impress because there are so many different papers. I love the Golden Honey from Celebration, which is, you know, I know it's not the little mini catalogue, but, you know, it's still out at the same time. Um, and at the point in time of, I'm filming, really hope it's still available. Uh, which else do I like? I, I have enjoyed using the um, one with the hearts. The name's escaped me right now. I have enjoyed using that and um, not just, you know, for Valentine-y type project, projects, but just, just in general. I like the colours of it. I have to say this one I'm using here is one of my favourites from the or the annual catalogue though. That's another one done. Now, I probably should have said, has anybody got any questions? And I could use this opportunity to answer questions, but I have had some that have come through about being a demonstrator. Are there um, monthly minimums? No, there are quarterly minimums. So we work on a calendar quarter, which would be January, February and March, and then April, May, June, and so on. The quarter that you join in is a kind of grace period. And so you don't have to meet your minimums that quarter, but anything you do sell or buy carries over. So in my case, I joined on the 29th of March, 2013. So I'm coming up seven years. So... Of course, I didn't have simply two days to meet my minimums. So a January joiner would have almost six months. If you joined um, this month in February, you've got all the way through until the end of June to meet your minimums. The minimums in pounds is 270 retail pounds. Now, obviously, we do get a discount and you do make an income. So if you are buying for yourself as opposed to joining to demonstrate, 
that works out to be around £220, uh, sorry, £230 with your discount, um, which is about mm, £72 a month, which is pretty good. Do you, other questions I've had, do you have to do videos? No. Do you have to do classes? No. If you want to do either of those, brilliant, I will teach you how to do those. Do you have to sell anything at all? No. You can simply join for yourself. Of course, if you do sell, you earn an income from it. Uh, let me think other questions that I've had. What happens if I stop being a demonstrator? Uh, you simply drop off the system and you no longer get the discount on personal purchases. You don't have to send anything back. Um, there's, you know, you're not going to get a black mark against your name. And actually, if you did stop being an active demonstrator, you could rejoin me straight away. Do you have to choose a local demonstrator? No, I would always advise finding the right demonstrator for you. Um, so whoever it is you're speaking to, find out what they can do for you and what you'd like them to do for you. Um, I'm going to come back to more questions. So what I'm going to do is show you the first one where I'm going to put adhesive. And actually, on this one, I will put tear and tape because you will need a strong glue. But for the others, I'm actually just going to go ahead and use snail just for speed purposes. So that's all of these six tabs that I've just cut into. That's where I'm putting my adhesive. If you're using paper, I wouldn't recommend a liquid glue. It's going to warp and potentially make the paper buckle. So if I put this first one together, this is going to be the bottom of the bottom of the stack. But actually, what I'm building is the bottom. So that's two sides have gone in. And I'm going to bring this one round and put it on the inside. Okay, so that's the first box done. So that's three by three by one inch deep. So that's the first one done. So like I said, I'm going to use snail on these. Um, okay, so what other questions? Um, being a demonstrator, it means that you can attend corporate events and my team training events. So we have a big, huge grand celebration event coming up in May. And actually... Um, I'm hosting it at Alton Towers and it's a full weekender that includes the theme park if you want. If you don't want to go to the theme park, I have arranged um, use of the spa facilities. If you don't want to do that, you can walk around the gardens. If you don't want to do that, you can spend some time crafting with me um, on one day. And then the other day, well actually the first day is going to be a full day of crafting and celebrating and having just the best time and then we've got a full-blown gala dinner at the end on that evening and then the following day is sort of it's free for you to do what you'd like and I've negotiated a brilliant rate so this is this will be our biggest event to date so you get to come along to those um, yeah Stampin' Up! has corporate events twice a year we um, we have something that's planned in April. No, sorry, that's also in May. And then we have our annual conference in May. No, in November. So you get to come to those. Um, this is my little one by one by one inch cube box. What else do we have going on? Oh, we have all sorts. I have a busy Facebook group for my team. Um, it's always very busy in there. I set challenges, I ask questions, I share advice. I do a live broadcast in there twice a week. No, twice a month. Twice a month, every other Tuesday. So one week it's in the daytime. And so people join me usually on their lunch hour. And then, the, then two weeks later it's in the evening. We're a fully international team. Um, I have demonstrated in my direct team in the UK, obviously where I'm based, but also France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. And I believe I'm the only demonstrator in the company who has direct team members in all five countries that we are in in Europe. 
so I'm quite pleased about that. Right, all five boxes made. Now, you can see, I mean, it, they, they're brilliant as they are. They really are, and you could ribbon each of them, but I wanted to make a stack. Now, if you're gifting, make sure you're getting them the right way up so that you can open them all. And they simply sit like that on the top of one, and e one another. This one, you'd probably put a tiny little note inside or maybe a tiny piece of jewelry, but it's very cute. If you're using it as a d piece of home decor, which is what I will be doing, a little bit of adhesive on the bottom will help. Yeah, that's good. So these, these three here are the same measurements front to back, but obviously they're, they're smaller. So you can see it that way around is a little bit better, but obviously they're all the same length. Then these ones just get slightly smaller. So now I'm putting these in the center. Okay, so there's my stack. Oh, not very, it's not sticking down. Probably liquid glue would work better, but. There we go, right, so I'm gonna add some ribbon and I pulled this one out, but I don't know that I want this one now. I don't think I do. I think I want crushed curry seam winding which is this one. Okay, so I'm going to tie this in a bow, if I could get hold of it. the seam binding because it's quite forgiving but today it doesn't want to play let me go and cut my tails off okay and then on the this one I did stamp and colour a bird and a flower I, I don't know whether I want to do that with this one or just leave it as it is because I actually think it's quite nice as it is I think I'm going to leave it so anyway thank you for joining me thank you for chattering away how long has that taken me 18 minutes including the time no, that's not bad at all so I've chatted away if you've got any questions about joining let me know um, we don't let language get in the way we don't let geography get in the way we're just an all-inclusive group Anyway, and fennel, sorrel. Yes, that's you. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. And the cat, and she's coming back again. I hope to speak to you very soon. Yes, and you. Come on, move yourself out the way. <laughs>